the mob gets tired. Yeah. And they, they move on. Same thing that happened with Charlie, right? I can empathize with influencers today in the sense where like everything that you say, people want it's like who are you gonna please here, right? People want to feel validated. Like someone's actually listening to them. You could say it back to them what they were actually thinking, which is a skill set we talked about and never split the difference. So that's that's important, but at the same time, you also don't want to change your brand or what you're doing for the minority of these people that might be saying or feel like a different way or a little bit outlandish, right? Yeah. So that's something that I'm struggling with today as far as just being just being out there now. Like a lot of my content is just completely out there. My employers can see this, my family, everyone. And this is going to be content that's always there. So it could be used against me in the future. <laughs> These comments, social media, it's something it's something that I'm still navigating today that um hopefully hopefully it doesn't become one of those acts that maybe Hillary Clinton was doing before, like pretending to empathize with people. Right now it's not. But hopefully it doesn't come to that point in the future where that there's just so much of it coming in that everything just becomes like a fucking act. Right? Well, you just know, play- yeah, I don't know if we even did this on the podcast. We might have been on the podcast when we were talking about this, but you were talking about how you care, at least growing up, like you really cared about other people's other opinions. People say, yeah. and, and in a way that you implied was even like detrimental to you because you're so worried about molding your actions around that. Mm-hmm. And with the power of the internet and, you know, being an influencer or being someone with a lot of attention out there, you invite in a world behind a keyboard that you don't know. And I'd love to get your thoughts on this, but one of the trend patterns that I've noticed is that the people who get the longest standing negative stigmas around them are the ones who are more prone to respond to negativity with more negativity mm-hmm. and do it in a very public way. I mean, you could look at James Charles. You and Recently, he was involved in this one, but like the Charlie D'Amelio girl mm-hmm. and how she decided to respond to that. Um, who are some of... I'm going to forget some names, but the way they respond to this stuff is, first of all, they respond to it in the first place, and secondly, they get real defensive. Mm-hmm. And so the mob mentality in that case is, oh, we got him. Like, it's just human nature. Yeah. It's like, oh, we have control and power over them now. That's scary. Yeah. If, uh, if I was her, like, I'd be scared shitless. I'm 16, 17 years old, and there's millions of people that are looking at every yeah. single thing I do. Everything I say could all be used against me. Like, that's kind of scary, as, as awesome as that is. And the trade-off is she's making a fuck ton of money. Yeah. She's set for life, you know? So you have to have that reality, too, meaning... People can use shit against you. How much is it really going to affect, you know, yeah. your bottom line? Or is this going to matter in the future as long as you're not saying some crazy, exactly. crazy shit? Whereas if you're the idiot on Instagram with 10 followers, you know, screaming out about, you know, the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, you know, a future employer, if that's public, might be like, all right, this is a kook bag. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have no leverage, right? Yeah. Um, but there's not... There's not that problem when you're at a certain size. And I noticed that some of the bigger influencers or figures online who just ignore it, literally don't respond to any of it, no matter what's said about them, mm-hmm. it never sticks. These people get really, it's like they, the, the mob gets tired yeah, and they, they move on. Same thing that happened with Charlie, right? That's like what we did. There was one video that we had like hundreds of comments about Pacific Islanders. Like we were fucking around about, well, this was true. We used to mark Pacific Islanders and SATs, <laughs> official documents. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely didn't know what the fuck a Pacific Islander was. Yeah. But a lot of people, hundreds of people felt the need to comment and say and talk about that topic extensively, right? And it came to a point where there was a lot of, there was a lot of like stupid ass comments that were like hate, quote unquote. And there was also the same amount of comments from people defending us. <laughs> And also saying like it was a joke and or also like, hey, your facts are actually wrong. It came to a point before we started answering when there was like 50 comments maybe. But after that, we're like, we're not even going to say anything anymore. Yeah. We're just going to let these people like fight with each other. Yeah. And we're going to go about our day, like not even address these comments at all. And like, lo and behold, the video blew up. But we didn't, we didn't even have to do anything. We just like let people talk in amongst themselves and we just avoided it. And now it's just doesn't even matter anymore. Because right? at the end of the day, even with those people you represent between watching the video and doing the comments, 60 to 180 seconds of their day one day. Yeah. They do a lot of other things. Sometimes saying more too is what gets you into trouble. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, it, and, and that's the thing. You live with that because you're also the man in the arena in that case. If everyone could do this, they would. I mean, everyone can. They, they can put their thoughts out there and make it public. But if people were actually taking the time to create the type of content you are and put all the work into this and also stand behind or, you know, just say like, hey, I'm going to say some things. Some things will be wrong. Some things will be right and put it out there. There is a credibility that you have and also mm -hmm. a set of balls that you have to do that as a person that goes for men and women like that most of these commenters will never just statistically will will never be able to say they had yeah and that's why i like shows and podcasts at this specific age and this specific time in life because we're coming from a point of we actually have had experience around things